Hey, hello everyone, Bruno here. I'm super happy because today we are going to, I am going to talk about the new course that we released, which is the Generative AI for Beginners.net edition. And there are a couple of things that I want you to know about this. First of all, this is a super free course that you can learn a lot about AI in .NET in a simple way. Our main objective here is to provide a platform where you can use, in example, code spaces and GitHub models to test models, to learn how to do chat, vision, audio, and more in a fast way and in a rapid way. So in example, one way that you can take a look here, we have lessons here, intro to Gen AI, how you can set up your environment, a couple of generative AI techniques that we have, real end-to-end -end scenarios. I talk about this, but we have the camera traffic. In example, we have end-to-end e-commerce with AI, semantic search, vision, agents, and more, and of course, responsible AI. If you want to start, it's super easy. Just follow the second the second, the, the second lesson where we have a five-minute video talking about this and then the steps. The steps are going to basically guide you in the three options that we have. One is to use GitHub models. The other is to use Azure AI model, uh, models in Azure AI Foundry, like Azure OpenAI, in example. And the third one is you want to, if you want to have Olama. Why Olama and how we can do Olama? So if you want to create a code space here, you can create a code space by default that is going to set up a virtual environment to do this for you. But if you want to set up a code space with options, you are going to see that we have two available here. We have a standard C Sharp and then another one that is to C Sharp with Olama. The second, one, the second one is going to create an environment where you are going to be able to literally run Olama models on a code space in the cloud. It's going to take some time to deploy both of them, the Olama a little more because you need to deploy an Olama instance in Docker on the cloud, but then you can download and learn to, to use models like Phi or Llama 3.2 or Mistral or other models there. I already have created here a code space. This is what you see in the code space. And the main steps here will give you, you need, if you want to use GitHub models, let's switch the layout. If you want to use GitHub models, you need to create a GitHub personal access token. So go to your settings, developer settings, and more. Once you have that, basically create the code space, as I said, step-by-step -step explanation, and then let's run the second one, which is setup environment, and then .NET run. So let me go here to the lesson two. Then I have source, and I can't remember the name of the folder. So let's do source, and we have basic chat AI 01 MAI. Let's zoom this a little so you don't hate me with this. So once we have this, what we can do is dot net build first. Let's see if it's building. Should be building super fast. There it is. By the way, the source code, source code is here. It's a very simple chat application. Create a new chat completion client using extension, Microsoft extension for AI. And then using the Phi 3.5 Mo instruct, we can ask a question like, what is AI? So let's do a .NET run here. Of, of course, this is going to take some time, depending on the model, the network, and the availability. But a couple of seconds later, we will have the response here about what is AI for this model. There it is. AI, artificial intelligence, referred to simulation of human intelligence. Hey, that's super cool. That's I like it. That's more. If you want to know, in example, how to do a very similar scenario, and by the way, we can because I have Copilot, I can change this and ask Copilot, some Copilot somewhere here to say, uh, Copilot chat, hey, switch this to use streaming and more. We have also samples to cover Copilot and more. Remember that you can use Copilot for free now. But if you want to start with Olama, so let me go here, open the Olama environment. There it is, the getting started with Olama that is going to guide you to the steps, open the Olama process, and then you can run, in this case, number three with Olama. Same experience. We can talk more about more samples and more scenarios. So in example, in the core AI techniques, we have samples to do LLM completions, function callings, plugins, RAG, vision, audio, agent assistance, and more. So there are plenty of plenty of things that we can do. And in lesson four, 
we have also the practical samples where you are going to see eShop little demos, where semantic search, real-time analysis. We also have real-time audio. We have the creative writer agent. There are a couple more coming that is going to be more focused on agents, more focused on also in chat with your data and more. So everything is here. And of course, each one of these will redirect you to a video where you are going to see how this works. So this is kind of amazing. I'm really, really happy that we have this. Again, this is the, the main link that you need to use, aka.ms slash genai.net. I appreciate we, the team will appreciate any feedback that you can provide there, PRs, issues, and more. We have already people collaborating and we think about this. We are going to release also the repo in different languages anytime soon. In the soon, it's going to be available in French, Spanish, Portuguese, Chinese, Korean, and more. So, hey, keep an eye, give us feedback, and see you next one. Goodbye.